why is the star scroll mayor so dangerous? Does she have access and prior intent to use a veritable doomsday artifact? Wait, the WCP 1959? What the heck does that do? Fortunately, WCP 1959 is not a doomsday artifact. Living to her namesake, Star Scroll either created or found a scroll. Our thief only stole the recent translation of the document on WCP 1959, not the original, and Westwood can retranslate it. The court records weren't taken either, but they're strange. No murder, no grand heist, and the stolen goods list doesn't make sense. At first I thought these were mistranslations, but given the punishment, it could be due to a property of the scroll. Found it! Celestia only knows why it was decided that Star Scroll should be imprisoned with her scroll. Regardless of the reason, that mare is out there, and will probably resume her compulsion. I pity the poor foal that crosses paths with her unknowingly. You get a pie if you, uh, okay. you get a pie if you look the other way. What what was that? Go keep going. Okay. You get a pie if you look the other way while I raid the palace fridges. You mean Cantalot Castle's kitchens? The ones with gelding knives mounted on the wall? There's crossing agent in ancient insanity inducing monstrosities, and then there's crossing sweet cream. Not for all the pies in Equestria, kid. <laughs> Make no mistake, Lambda Dusk. You do not. I repeat, do not want to get on Sweet Cream's bad side. Ooh, terrifying. Ooh, this one's text heavy. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw the assumption your specialty is not paperwork. So why do you work with so much paper? Isn't there someone... More qualified and or someone who actually likes to do that part of your job? Our specialty is dealing with knowledge, which often is on paper. Much of this knowledge is forbidden, insanity inducing, or quite frankly disturbing. It is not for the faint of mind. As for the paperwork, there are some aspects to any job, not as glamorous, but just as necessary. Isn't that one image on the corkboard, the Tree of Life, broken? It should have 12 points, I believe. Hmm. Oh. Oh dear, it may be upside down. Actually, I, uh, I can't read that script. Where's Westwood? Uh, I guess it's me. He's right here in the doorway that protects the archives from scrolls, stilling, statue swipers, and he's got a metric flank load of documents to translate. Metric flank, <clears throat> metric flank load means a lot. I gathered. So, how much of your work is just filling out forms? Do you do anything like translating ancient languages? Definitely. In fact, that's my specialty. I can read and write Old and Middle Equestrian, many historical dialects of English, Latin, and a few others. I myself focus on Old Equestrian and the most common portions of English. <laughs> Sorry. Since some of these are rare, I've pulled out sample books and scrolls written in each. The Old Equestrian script was the domain of unicorns like Star Swole the Bearded. Only very learned and those who trained in magic read it. Most WCP entries are written in Middle Equestrian, but as a common archival language, it hasn't stood the test of time. And as any pony is well aware, store signs typically use pictures, and modern Equestrian script is used in books. In Cantalot, written uh, English is rather... Oh, sorry. <laughs> In Cantalot, written English is rather commonplace, despite being a dead language. 
It still finds use in official documents, furthermore, knowing it is considered a sign of high education and status. Our little ex-intern loves using English. I heard she talked the Ponyville residents into making a sign welcoming her Royal Highness Celeste in English. I hope they know that English has a lowercase form of the letter L. Many mistake English for modern equestrian, save for some differences in the alphabet and spelling. This reveals modern equestrian's heritage. It says it borrows heavily from English. Even those who can read English don't realize how insanely big the old language's vocabulary is. A vocabulary of a few thousand is sufficient for official Cantalot documents, but there are hundreds of thousands of words considered English. To read ancient files, even after years of study, one must have a dictionary within hoof's reach. Or have written a dictionary within hoof's reach, yes. I wrote the extensive English equation expanded encyclopedia. Among our side duties, or perhaps as a hobby, in, uh, involves translating old works into equestrian, including adding appropriate changes and modernizing names. It's, <clears throat> it's a funny feeling when ponies talk about recent stories without knowing they're translated, and it's actually centuries old. Older than English is a language called Latin. When English was alive and in common use, Latin served the purpose that English now provides as a source of root words. And in many ways, it still does. Take, for example, Daring Do in the quest for the Sapphire Stone. The word daring comes to us from the English, but Sapphire's origin is the Latin, Sapphires. Latin's Sapphires? other job in ancient times was a common language of science and knowledge. Sadly, not many ponies know Latin, so that mantle falls on English. Like Latin, it's dead, but it's also extremely flexible and common enough to be read by most any pony. That's why I'm converting the WCP archives to English, and only the, <clears throat> and only the declassified documents are translated to modern equestrian. You were, asked, you were right to ask Guile and Sarah. The page was upside down, but as boring paperwork can be, unformed eight, few are qualified to handle upside down pages. Some graphics shamelessly, shame, shame, ripped from the show. The wanted posters of wild card used with permission from Star Scroll. I be looking for a friend. Big brown pegasus who shirts who shout at guards sometimes. I no see her in a while, though she thought she might be around here. Around one? You mean, that means you're, you're real? I think we've got some release forms to fill out. Meanwhile, did this just to have Starshot all to themselves. The conspiracy, I tell you. They want her all to themselves, but she's my specimen. Why, not the thieves? Why must, why once I get out of here, I'll... <laughs> Lady, you're crazy. <laughs> Don't worry, Starshot. We're sure that the brown pig is around here somewhere, and she'll be so happy to see you. She won't even complain about seeing being thrown in with Echo Fleetfoot's aunt. You were expecting this, weren't you? Poster joy from Pixel Kitty to Echo and Firebuck. Dudes, does your job ever leave you free time for the mares? You know, all work and no play. Time? Play? Dude, there are several dangerous artifacts to re-secure, volumes of entries to translate, and we just received word of punitive guard duty. Let's see, in light of dereliction of duty, mandatory security, training, order to chaperone the upcoming prom, so we have to play full sitter. Oh, great. Equestria, ponies say pram be fun, very fun, but you must have pony to go with. Princess of Night seems busy 
and no other star ponies around. You be servants of the Princess of Night, too. One of you want to go prom? Uh, my apologies, Miss Starshot, but even if we were available, we're too old for a prom. We'll be there for your safety, and possibly protect others from, from Skygazer. Don't forget that there will be punch and cookies by the door. I don't get it. We're sorry, Starshot, but neither of us can be a date for a prom. Perhaps if you ask Maelstrom. On second thought, maybe it would be best if you did not ask the dude. Uh, Starshot and Maelstrom are both very, very awesome blogs. Follow them. And again, obscured, cropped, and needing of updates, posted from Pixel Kitties, Echo, and Firebug persist. <laughs> Free Discordian auto replicant is a biological, mechanical, or magical in nature. What is WCP six hundred? WCP six hundred, a uh, Pre Discordia auto replicant. It has been mentioned before, and I still intend to explore the volcano believed to be a suspected origin. I've already translated into English for archival, but it's not fully cleared, so I haven't updated it to modern equestrian. Given that not every pony can read it, I'll summarize. Basically, this is the legendary purple goo. Yes, we do have a living sample. No, I'm not saying where it is. Yes, there's a way to stop it, and no, only ar archivists and trained unicorns are told how. I think that's you. Yeah. There are old mayor's tales about WCP-600. They're even in a play that Miss Lulaboon mentioned. She was rather surprised to learn that such things do exist. Document number... Uh, document Boy. number... WCP-600. Object class, Keter. Modern rating class 16 to 18, depending on trained unicorn preparedness. WCP-600 appears as an amorphous, viscous, violet sludge, often with some pseudo-facial details, such as optical organs resembling eyes or jawless mouth-like opening. These features appear to be superficial, so they can fast or dissolve at will. It aims to encase and spread it. its to every extent the apparent intent of mother landscape, flora, and fauna, WCP-600 appears self-aware, or at least complexly designed, and will attack the bud off, uh, attack and bud off globs to attack anything it considers prey or threat. Furthermore, it gives the impression of singing in English, meant to demoralize psychological warfare. Lyrics include, you can't stop me and don't even try. Prehistoric document records, uh, uh, documents record multiple breakouts of WCP-600 with varying results of success. WCP-600 uh, WCP has been defeated in the past by WCP-619, which is unfortunately extinct. However, trained unicorns can replicate their effect uh, by combining applied frequencies of blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Hmm. What I find stranger still is that mm, that there exists a number of cults devoted to WCP 600. This great Stalin, for example, is believed to be one of such cultists. I'm sorry, it's just funny. While we don't spy as a matter of policy, we do have to let local enforcement keep an eye out for any harmful activity. However, not all such cults are as outwardly creepy. I often communicate with one such cult leader who is outside of our area. I find her otherwise charitable, even to the point of running an ice cream social. There is a dissonance of someone appearing similar to our EOH task force, Harmony, member running a doomsday cult. Either way, it's out of our jurisdiction. Has, uh, has there been any recently declassified information pertaining to crystals and spell circles used in casting? My current line of research seems to have run dry. Crystals are an ever-present element in Equestria, as common decorations, ingredients in magic, and favorite cuisine of dragons. However, there is an obscure secondary family of crystals, known as ancient imperfect mineral crystals. Note the irregular facets, it's cracks in strange shape. They're very rare, very deep underground, but strange enough, all gems on WCP 1984 artifacts 
artists and prototypes even cut to hide their flaws. The imperfection, the, okay, the imperfection extends far beyond the surface with radical differences in chemical and magical properties. Oddly enough, imperfect crystals serve no nutritional purpose to dragons. We tried to feed one to our intern's pet dragon. He wouldn't and said it tasted of sand and glass, a sand or glass, which made us wonder about normal crystals, which are near the surface. Specifically, common crystals remain in strata newer than a purple layer that geologically highlights a change in the fossil record. It's tentatively called the H epoch extinction effect. So, we decided to experiment on what might have caused our common crystals adamant. Took these photos of feeding WCP 600 in Apple and results after several hours. The result is chemically and structurally identical to common crystals. We decided not to experiment with other biomass for ethical reasons. Oh, ethical reasons. Our apologies for having no further information about magic circles. Mr. Green Sword, but uh, perhaps you can enjoy a magic show or an ice cream social. You can barely see the posters from Pixel Kitty's Echo and Firebug. So, I see an awful lot of Russian writing around your room. I take it you can translate that to Westwood? What, sorry, what Russian? This is all either English or modern in question. The box says more paperwork. The full free press coverage of Her Royal Highness Celestia has a big red exclusive. And the doors that may address the, um, thing. Yeah. Hmm? And the doors to the Captain Pansy wing behind me are labeled, Warning, do not enter. In English, and then verboten is a scary question word and comes from the English and another dead language called German. In English, it's spelled V E R B O T E N instead of I don't know what those letters are. As for Russian, I rely on a few books. Most artifacts in this corner of the world are in English, so that was the focus of my degree in. The posters from Pixel Kitties, Echo, and Firebug, now in 3D. Oh my, 3D. Do you ever hear any rumors about Princess, Ale uh, Princess Luna? And if you do, would you share them? Has Luna ever gotten mad with you? <laughs> For by Luna. Given the rumors that candid pictures of the RPCOE in the full free press may have cost Captain Aquilinus his position, no, I would not share rumors. I have not angered the RPLOE and have no desire to be punished by her. Our apologies, Mr. Lovesick, but we'd rather not have to answer Ricky DeMont or Sonic Dash in the affirmative. Our condolences to Captain Aquilinus, if the rumors are true. The post from Pixelgate's Echo and Firebug, still in 3D. What? Wait, you have hooves. How exactly are you typing? A terrible pony. Have you ever seen EOH Task Force, codenamed Kindness in Action? It's quite a thing to watch. How is he typing? Very well, apparently. These models were recently released, designed for hooves, unlike the artifacts that inspired them. Very much so. She is quite talented. I found her parallel counterparts also quite exceptional. I have mentioned talking with a cult leader that strikes a resemblance. Another, actually, is the reason for the letter. The local government required her presence for a few answers and asked us to assist. Unfortunately, we only obtained an autograph instead. Those questions were unfulfilled, but deeper questions were answered. She's entering a slippery slope, researching subjects that may lead to issues such as resurrection and alchemical transmogrification. 
Normally at this time we would intervene, but she is outside our request for his jurisdiction and the local government is uninterested. Thus the uh, letter. Isn't stop? Isn't stop? Stop you, Mad Mary! You'll doom us all. A tad melodramatic. It is, but it is a higher success rate. You'll significantly impact your local jurisdiction. Was too often treated as a challenge and not a warning. So he is diggity slice. We have seen her in action, and her in action, and her in action. It is rare that we send out an official letter of condemnation, but this Dr. Adorable has deserved it. Most of Pixel Kitties Echo and Firebug Slow 3D. About two months ago, we found him on the distant outskirts of Everfree. The funeral is scheduled for tomorrow. On Hearts and Hooves Day, the poor soul, I'm guessing, close casket. I doubt gray and those eyes are natural. The gray may indicate essence draining. I hold no theories for the eye discoloration. Furthermore, there are no signs of blood, loss, or struggle. Any idea what caused this? We were, we were hoping. hoping. That's oh, sorry, you can't read it. <laughs> We were I hoping you knew there were there are precious few leads, and we, I fear there will be more victims. I beseech you to search all of the archives for your clues. Elements of investigation, hearts and hooves. The sepia tone is due to the series of posts happening out of sequence from the rest of Ask the Night Guards, now called Elements of Investigation. Link above will take you to related episodes. How classified exactly is the uh, entity known as Slendermane? And could you please come get him out of my living room as he's starting to creep me out? So, this Slendermane is WCP? Ugh, you shouldn't mention Slendermane because, too late now, I'll be back with the archive document and write up an entry. Apparently, the answer to Slendermane is not a WCP yet. Hey, when I click on a thing, it brings me to a new page. We're not sure if Slenderman is related to Slender Pony, but it is always interesting when Westwood digs out the older non WCP archive documents. The post was from Pixel Kitties Echo and Firebug with special guest Dr. Adorable. Oh. Have there been any attempts of espionage lately? Can any poor hear me? Cerberus is down there. I'm seeing coming out of Tartarus and doesn't look like any monster I've I've in need to warn the incest before Stop them. We can't stop. Need backup. Need. Oh, Celestia, there. Is this the Tartarus guard who sent the message? Sir, yes, sir. He was one of the two guards stationed with Cerberus. Two weeks after the last incident. By the time we got there, both guards were down and Cerberus was unconscious. This may be a completely different case, Sergeant. The cause of death is rather obvious wounds and none of the mystery symptoms. Yeah. Please take a look at the other guard. His wife had just returned to town and he had some vacation time scheduled to spend with her. Same paleness and ocular discoloration. So it is related. How do we know it's not a disease? He was reporting chronic pain prior to the incident, but there have been no cases beyond him and your previous case, and there's no transmission vector between the two. We revived service, but he bounded off to follow the scent before we had finished securing the gates. 
EOH Task Force, remember Magic brought him back. Aro in turn, how is she doing? Wait, that means it's hell in Ponyville. This is worrisome. These cases are progressively closer to Cantalot. Lieutenant Adamant, Mr. Westwood, is there any idea to the cause of suggested courses of action? None at this time. The RPLOE is already expecting a report. There are several different dozen possible causes, but no complete matches. What's the most dangerous thing you've ever dealt with? Equestria is under attack, and the nature of the assailant, whomever or whatever it may be, is a complete unknown. Elements of investigation. It's about time. It's the sepia tone thing again. There are rumors in t of a town of blank flanks that appears and disappears somewhere inside the Everfree floor Forest. There are also stories of the slender mane and entity that is often discussed on the pony net. Are these real or? They, are they simply the inventions of ponies with overactive imaginations and too much time on their hooves? Is the slender mean real? The town is already cataloged as WCP-008 and can be discussed later. The slender mean is a class 25 immunological entity. Just acknowledging it makes it real and on the loose. Fortunately, I have my copy of WCP-001 documents. WCP-001 deserves deeper explanation at another time. Its discovery average is about 1,020 years ago, typically at the dawn of the Harmonic Era. It was heavily influential in the WCRP archives and many others. The reason I brought my copy is that I noticed his entry was missing from Christian's main copy of the WCP-001 documents. Better read up to understand what we're dealing with. Very well. A temporary containment may be achieved by means of a bundle story. A written narrative in the case of a breach, a new containment document is to be written within three hours. That's my typing. Adaptive self-propagating meme capable of physical manifestation. When manifested, this entity has few consistent details as its description varies by source. We'll carry out all action, actions attributed to it in the narrative. These manifestations will take place at whatever time and place is specified. No method of terminating or otherwise harming has been successful. If you cannot harm it, how can you fight it? By not harming it, Chief Warrant Officer Manzenta thought we um, taught me the following technique. In the course of documentation, Bundle also has gained a one new property, while unharmed, Bundle dissipates whenever attacked by Pegasus, Wing, or Pony Hoof. Afterwards, Bundle returns to its designated containment. It seeks you. Horror music. So are you just like uh, so you are just librarians, not real soldiers. Well done. Ward Officer Westwood, is that your service? Second Lieutenant Adamant is duly impressed. That's cute. This bundle entity may be related to, but is much inferior to Slender Pony. We hope we have demonstrated that one can be a librarian and a soldier, Mr. Nerea. Much thanks to Aphex of the Stalkerloo fame for guiding me to appropriate and interesting ranks for Adamant Westwood and Manzanita. I now know more about military ranks than I'd ever thought I'd know. Those from Pizza Kitty, that go on Firebug, the special guest star, Dr. Adorable. Previously on Ask Starshot. Welcome. Uh, Welcome. Ready uh, for your little sleepover? Look like... Mm, look, she even brought treats. Easy now. Better read the note first before digging in. 
Three treats homemade with mother's love for all to enjoy. Except anyone of the night guard. Better keep your hooves off these delicious homemade muffins and the like. With love. She was an eel. What would you do in the case of first contact with an alien race? Can I have the hug? Apparently, uh, protocol calls for Westwood to hug star-based aliens and ignore those delicious, delicious muffins. Hush. Starshot is known to be friendly to... So, of course, she gets hugs. And, and just imagine the muffins are poisoned. That does not help. Hello, so you two are watching over little star shots. Can she come out and play? Do you, by chance, have any declassified information on extraterrestrial life? I want to study and search for such things. We were exclusively entrusted with Miss Starshot until Miss Skygazer recovers. We cannot give her to another. Especially not to any form being. I'm sure you're a nice earth thing, but I have a healthy distrust of anything like whole, like, sorry. As for information on star ponies, you should direct your inquiries, Miss Skygazer, directly. Good luck with that. Yeah. My apologies, ask Dark Nebula, but our instructions were to restrict visitation of this star shot to equestrian royalty and their guards. Westwood refuses to expound upon his concerns regarding black holes beyond referring to involvement with the class 30 plus entity. To be continued. Considering how long it took for just this, I figured it'd be best to move the remaining two panels into another post later. First panel is all star shots wonderful artwork, you get to let library backgrounds taken from the show. All libraries should have this poster. Be advised, this is a wet par. You must show ID before ordering. If you're too young, there's cookies and punch by the door. Since nobody's scheduled to run the bar, I suppose we should serve as such. Uh, Adam and Westwood are not usually this cranky, but they just hate full sitting a prom. Well then, we now have bartenders, and there's cookies and punch by the door. Reblogging this just because I think these two are just adorable no matter what they do, and to advertise Pony Prom a bit more, just because. Enjoy. There's cookies and punch by the door. Oh, city mm. function is not fun, but we might as well sample the bar's contents while we do so. Huh. Is it wrong that I was late to work this morning because I totally put that picture together in 30 minutes this morning? Or wrong that I'm mostly amused about cookies and punch by the door? And that's the end of the page. <laughs>